As we continue to deal with market volatility, perhaps you as an investor have turned to alternatives outside of equities. There's always crypto out there, but what about art? One new startup is giving investors the chance to buy fractional shares in works of art, including some from some big name artists out there, including Andy Warhol and Claude Monet. Perhaps you've heard of them. Uh, and it's a very interesting idea that is giving investors the option to turn away from things that might be uh, perhaps less correlated with the market. And here to discuss how that all works with us is the CEO of Masterworks.io, Scott Lynn, joins us now. Uh, and Scott, thanks again for taking the time to chat here. I mean, it's a very interesting idea, but talk to me about how it works and, and what the minimum investments might look for people and, and how they get a piece of the action in the art world. Yeah, so art is, is one of the oldest asset classes. It's literally been around for centuries. It's roughly uh, $1.7 trillion in size. But up until Masterworks, there wasn't a good way for anyone to allocate to it outside of buying a painting that cost several million dollars. So we were the first company to purchase paintings, file them as public offerings with the SEC, and sell shares in paintings. So anyone can go to masterworks.io, create an account, uh, speak to our membership team, and, and begin investing in these artworks. And you guys hold these pieces for about three to five years. You have them on display, uh, always constantly on sale here. Um, but in, in, in kind of these ideas, it's always interesting to try and figure out when a sale would happen. I mean, how do you weigh and what kind of say do investors have in figuring out what time may be right to sell? Yeah, there's really, there's really two different paths to liquidity today. So we, we can sell the painting, which, which takes anywhere between five and seven years. Um, or we recently launched trading markets. So people are now trading shares in these great works of art. So if they want to get out of a painting before we sell it, they, they can simply uh, list their shares on, on our website and sell them to another investor. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, liquid event here, more liquid perhaps than we saw before, but you guys have been doing this for a while. And one of the things you stress as we opened with here is kind of that idea that things aren't necessarily correlated with the way that the stock market's been playing out. And you stress it's even less correlated the art world than, than crypto. I mean, talk to me about that and what kind of uh, demand through all this volatility in this pandemic you're seeing from investors turning back to the art world. Yeah, so we, we published a report with Citigroup actually at the end of 2019 on the correlation between art and other asset classes and effectively concluded that it's a totally uncorrelated asset class. Um, so we believe it has a role in, in every portfolio when you look at the lack of correlation combined with the, the historical returns. Um, from a COVID perspective, I mean, we've just seen an, an absolute huge growth in number of investors. I mean, I think we started uh, the beginning of COVID with something like 35,000 investors. Today, we're at 82,000. Um, so a lot of investors are, are just concerned about the volatility in the stock market and, and I think looking for other places to, to put their money. On that front, when you guys dig into the demographics, I mean, talk to me about who's using your platform, because, uh, you know, the art world seems dare I say, hoity-toity, foo-foo, uh, a little detached maybe from Main Street here. So is, is it more your traditional investor on Wall Street looking into these, or, or are you seeing kinds of all walks of life join in? When we started Masterworks, we, we didn't actually know if this would be a, a product for, for smaller collectors that are looking to invest in larger paintings or, or for sort of main, mainstream investors. But what we've seen definitely is, you know, out of the 82,000 people that are on the platform, these are really just people that are looking for diversification and returns. So they aren't necessarily investors that have any, any experience with the art market. Yeah, I imagine if you're rich enough, uh, you'd be able to buy one of these outright on your own and play it that way. But obviously, uh, diversification important no matter what we're talking about. Could be paintings, could be stocks, could be whatever uh, we're talking. Uh, but today, very interesting to look at how the art world plays into all this. So Scott Lynn, CEO of Masterworks.io. Appreciate you taking the time to chat. Good luck. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.